<laughs> What's up, big dog? Welcome to Five Star Lineman Academy. Man, I'm so excited to get this work in today. We're gonna work your stance and start. We're gonna get your first step better, baby. Let's go to work. You wanna be a good D lineman? It starts with your stance, okay? Heel toe ratio is very important. Now you can use this white line or you can grab a stick. If it's run, you want that back foot on that heel. You do not want a long stance on run because see this here? This tells me how long my step is gonna be. That's too long. That offensive lineman is coming at me. I can't afford to take a long step like that because he's coming at me. Watch this. Heel toe ratio. If I put my back foot this far, that's too long of a step, way too long. By the time I replace my hand with my first step, I'm getting punched. That's too long, okay? So that's why that back foot for run needs to be on that back heel. See the difference there? Okay? Now, this is where my step should go. This is a lot better than that. That's why we go heel toe ratio, okay, for run. Really important. The next thing I wanna emphasize is my front foot, my front leg, and this is extremely important. If you're talking about maximizing power out of your hips, this is important, okay? Now, heel toe ratio, same deal. This is a run stance. This front leg, for one, needs to be under me, okay? It's very important. But not only does it need to be under me, it needs to form a 90 degree angle. It needs to form a 90 degree angle. This is the angle that's gonna maximize hip power here. If it's too low, it's gonna be hard to come out of your hips and I'm angled the wrong way. My arrow, which I'll show you in a second, is pointing that way. If it's too high, that's way over 90, and I'm not aiming to, again to explode out of my stance. You want a 90 degree on that front leg. This is going to maximize your first step. Really important, okay? That front leg, the leg that's front, up front, needs to form 90 degrees. I don't care how tall or short you are, that front leg, again, needs to be in a 90 degree angle. Okay, that's how you're gonna maximize power off your first step. So with that 90 degree angle, okay, sometimes it's like, coach, I don't know what 90 degree is, but it's 90 degree angle. I have no clue, I feel mad. Big dog, I got you, <laughs> okay? But this is what you do look for. Your butt needs to be slightly above your head. That's a good indication your power leg is at a 90 degree angle. Watch. 90 degree angle, my butt should be slightly above my head. That's a good indication. If it's under or even, not, that's not 90 degrees. If it's way above my head, that's not 90 degrees. It needs to be slightly above my head. Now I'm locked and loaded in my hips and now I know I have a pretty good stance because my butt is slightly above my head. Okay, that's how you know you're at a good 90 degree angle. Okay, hand placement. Your feet placement, hip placement. Now we're doing hand placement. I have this white line, okay? It's important to make sure that your front hand is leading or in line, vertical aligned with your back foot. It's really important. Let me show you, okay? So, now we're talking about weight distribution. The hand determines how much weight I have on one side than the other, or how much weight I have forward or backwards. This right hand or left hand, whichever hand is down, the down hand is really important. It's what's gonna make you balance, okay? So I'm gonna put my back foot on this white line. Again, if you don't have a white line, get a stick. Get a stick, put that stick down, line it up, with your back foot. Put that hand, that down hand, right on, okay, right on the stick. That way you know 
that I actually have a line going from my back foot to my hand. Now, be careful I don't put it too far out. If I put my hand too far out, my weight distribution is too forward. The only place I can go is straight. Okay, it's too much, too much weight. If I have this much weight on my hands, it's gonna be hard for me to pick my hands up. If it's hard for me to pick my hands up, then how am I gonna punch you if I can't pick my hands up, big dog? I gotta get my hands up. That means that I gotta lighten up the weight on my hands. If you get in your stance, and I say pick your hands up, and you can't pick them up, then how are you gonna punch? Think about it. So you wanna have the perfect balance. I'm not saying you want your, your hands so close to your front foot that it's light like that, okay? But you do want it to be balanced. That way, I have a good power, and my weight is always on my front foot, my weight is also on my front hand, and I have good balance. Make sure that hand is in line with that back foot. If you take your hand and put it outside of that line, like this, do you see how I'm leaning? Look where my weight is. This is a problem, okay? You don't want your hand that far outside your back foot, never. What if I put my hand inside the stick? Now, if I put my hand inside the stick, again, look where my weight is. My weight distribution is not good. It needs to be in line with your back foot. Right there, that's the perfect stance. And you're ready to take your step.